name's Alyssa Wilsinski, and this week in our Optic Studio Frequently Asked Questions webinar, we'll be covering licensing. First, we'll talk about what licensing options are available for Optic Studio 16. We'll also cover the differences between single user and multi user network licenses, as well as how the newer soft key licenses compare with the older USB hard keys. Finally, we'll have a Get Started Quickly guide to install, installing both network and single user soft key licenses, and we'll finish with a question and answer session at the end. First, we need to cover the difference between a license and a license seat. When we talk about a license, this is a single unit that's sold by ZMAX. A license can have any number of assigned seats within it. And when you open Optic Studio on a machine, that machine uses one license seat. You can have up to two instances of Optic Studio open on one machine, and this will still use only one license seat. If Optic Studio is open on two different machines, that would require two seats. When the license then comes up for renewal, all seats on that license are treated as a part of the license entity, and the license is renewed as a whole. We have single user and network licenses. With a single user license, we expect a single workstation to be used, and multiple users could share that single workstation, or it could be a single user. On a network license, you can have multiple users on multiple machines. So a network license will have two or more license seats. You can think of it like a book. Um, a single user license is like a book that you've purchased. It's yours to keep. There's only one copy, so it can be used by one person at a time, but you could give it to a friend or place it on a different shelf. In licensing terms, the license is yours, you've purchased it and it's perpetual, but the license is only available on one machine at any one time, but you could transfer the license to a different machine if needed. A network license is a little different. This is more like a book that's in your company's library. It's the company's book to keep. Um, there could be more than one copy of the same book though, and the library is home to all copies of that book. As the end user, you can borrow the book or read it, but it always returns to the library in the end. In licensing, again, this license is perpetual, it's been purchased, um, but there can be more than one seat on the license. That's like more than one copy of the book. Um, so more than one person can use the license at a time. The license is on a network server, and this is like the library. It's the home for all of the license seats. And finally, the user will work on a client machine which will then see or borrow a seat from the network server. So this is like being able to take that book or borrow it from the library. In the end, you'll still return it. So the, the license seat that's used by the client machine will then return to the network pool once you're done running Optic Studio. Within our licensing options, we have soft key and hard key or USB dongle licenses for both the single user and the network versions. A soft key is activated using an activation code which is sent to you via email after you've completed your purchase. The license is then locked to a specific machine with the huge benefit that this can also be a virtual machine. Um, the license will be managed via the ZMAX license manager application and there's no dongle so you can't misplace your license or have it stolen from you. Um, we have soft key licenses available for single user licenses beginning with Optic Studio 16 and we actually released network soft key licenses beginning with Optic Studio 15.5. So the biggest benefits here and why we really encourage use of the soft key licenses 
is that they can be used with a virtual machine, and for network licenses, they support seat checkout. Um, we'll come back to the seat checkout, but when it comes to the virtual machine, um, this is especially important because a lot of the hard key licenses um, with virtual machines, there could be some difficulty in getting the virtual machine to recognize hardware present, especially for cloud computing purposes. Um, meanwhile, with a soft key license, the soft key can be activated directly on a virtual machine, and then we ensure that the virtual machine will have visibility of the license. Soft keys are the new primary purchase option for new licenses from Optic Studio 16 moving forward. The USB dongle or hard key must be plugged into the machine in order to access the license. Um, it is a physical key, so after your purchase, we must ship it to you, and there is some time delay there um, versus the soft key that can arrive instantaneously in your inbox. Um, we manage the hard key in the Sentinel Keys License Monitor, which is a web application. It does work with all older versions of both ZMAX and Optic Studio, and it is forward compatible. But the hard key does not always support virtual machines, and it does not support that network license seat checkout. Um, the hard key is available upon request for new license purchases. So again, just to recap, the soft key has the benefit of being compatible with virtual machines. And for the network version, um, it allows license seat checkout. License checkout enables a user to disconnect from the network and maintain functionality of Optic Studio. Um, so this is enabled by the system administrator or the network administrator and the admin will set a loan period anywhere from 1 to 9,999 days. Um, when a user enables checkout, they take a seat from the network library and it's locked to the, the user's local machine for the, the amount of time specified in the loan period. After that point, since the seat is locked to the local machine, it's no longer available in the general network pool, so it is like checking out that, that library book. Um, but it's, it's kept locally, so when the user disconnects from a network, they can work totally offline. Um, you could work while you're traveling away from your local network. Um, you can bring Optic Studio home and continue to work from home. Um, and you're able to use the program just like you would while you were in the office working directly on the network key. When the loan period ends, the license seat that was saved locally on the user's machine will auto-terminate at the end of the loan period, and that seat will be returned to the general network pool and become available again on the network license. Any number of seats can be saved in reserve on the network license. And so these reserve seats are ones that cannot be checked out. They maintain accessibility for anyone still working connected to the network, and they'll be available for use on a first, first come, first serve basis. Um, finally, we have a compatibility um, diagram here. So the standard edition of Optic Studio is only available as a single user type license. Um, we do have the soft key available and for all versions the USB dongle is available on upon request. Um, and then for the network license um, we have soft keys available for both professional and premium Again, hard key available upon request. And soft key will be our main form of license distribution for Optic Studio 16 moving forward. Um, the network soft key was available starting in Optic Studio 15.5 and forward as well. 
Meanwhile, the USB dongle will remain accessible for all releases. You can exchange your existing USB dongle for a soft key license. There is no additional cost to do so. The only condition is that your license must be under current support in order to be eligible for the exchange. For more information, you can contact your sales representative. And if you don't have a particular sales representative, you can reach out to sales at zmax.com for more information. Get started quickly with a single user soft key. First, you should receive an activation email from the sales team. You will find your license number and your activation code in this email message. Copy the activation code. On the machine where you plan to run Optic Studio, find Optic Studio in your programs list and launch the program. If no license is found, the ZMAX License Manager will open for you to the New Key tab. You can click on the Activate button and paste in your activation code. You can then close the ZMAX License Manager and relaunch Optic Studio. Get started quickly using the network soft key. First, you should receive an activation email containing your activation code from the sales team. There you'll see your license number, the number of seats, and your activation code for your network license. Copy the activation code. You should be on your network server machine, the machine where you plan to house the network license. On our downloads page, you'll want to download the ZMAX License Manager. Once you have the ZMAX License Manager on your machine, you can find it from the Start menu and open ZMAX License Manager. Activate your license under the New Key tab. Paste your code and hit OK, and you'll find that your activation was successful. You can then check to see your license information on the License Information tab. Once you've completed the installation on the network server, you can move to the client machine. Download and launch Optic Studio 16, 15.5 or later will also work. Usually this is all that you need to do and the client machine will automatically locate the network server license. Otherwise, if it's not found, go to Start, ZMAX Optic Studio, ZMAX License Manager, and click to launch the Sentinel Admin Control Center. Go to Configuration, Access to Remote License Managers, check all boxes, and add the IP address of the server here. You should be working on the client machine for these steps. Once you click Submit, relaunch Optic Studio, and the license should be located. 